let's have a look to the final result hello everyone this is nitin and welcome to the channel and so you have already seen that what we are going to create today so we are going to create audio visualizer within after effects without any plugins right in the past videos we learned how to create an album cover art within photoshop so if you haven't watched the video you can just watch out the video now all right so let's focus on this tutorial now to get this uh, result we need to follow three steps so we'll begin with the uh, free stock files and then we'll use uh, some of the photoshop and in the final step we'll be using adobe after effects so i think without any further ado let's focus on the screen all right so let's go to the uh, search engine and type freepick.com all right so here we have to type vinyl record mockups and you can find lot of mockups here right so under the left side you can find the filter under which i'll select free and i am interested using phd file so i'll click on phd all right so after this i think this one is good we can go with this one all right let me download it and also you can just give attribute to them to the creator right all right so once we download it we gonna open this file in photoshop now now i'll i want to use the cover art that i created in the past video so i will try to replace it with this design so all right so let's do this let's double click on it and drag our cover art here and we can just press save it yes and here it is right it looks good so now we'll open the adobe after effects because we're done with this file work first of all let's create a composition uh, 1920 by 1080 we can just give a name to the composition audio visualizer right so now let's import the file like this okay and make sure you uh, import as composition retain layers okay okay click here and same is the process in the after effect also click on layers all right so we are doing this because in case we need to change some things within the file we can just go to the photoshop and change the whatever thing you want to change and it will be reflected here so that's why we just want to save our time in case we do some changes okay all right we now we can just apply the effect on it that is audio spectrum but audio spectrum work on the mask so let's duplicate this file Control plus D on the keyboard right now uh, let me just rename it by pressing enter on it and let me type mockup okay so that we don't confu get confused with it in future okay now now let's switch their position and let's go to the uh, let's select the this one and let's go to the ellipse tool and let's just drag the shape right if you press shift on the keyboard me i mean you hold shift on the keyboard it will be a perfect circle right so just follow the steps all right so i think this is fine now we can just go to the effects and preset and type audio spectrum i already typed here so you can find this and just double click on it or you can just drag it upon the layer all right so one more thing i just want to i just forgot that is the music so you need to have music for it so just drag your music into the timeline in the into the composition i already used the music so i'm gonna drag that one only like this all right so now as we already applied audio spectrum let's go to the effects and control panel and um, now let's focus on the settings now so i would just uh, recommend you follow along for this tutorial and also don't forget to uh, play with the settings right so the more the more you will play with the settings the more you will explore about audio spectrum 
now from here you can just go and click on the music that we just dragged into the composition this one all right now we'll go to the path and click on mask one all right because it was the mask one within the layer that we made the ellipse of it right and now if we zoom it we can see uh, audio spectrum is visible now right <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting let's play with the setting more okay now here you can find starting frequency and end frequency so in the starting frequency i'm gonna keep it uh, around 10 right and in the end now on to the end frequency i'm gonna keep 300 no no let's keep it around uh, i think 1000 is good so let's keep it 1000 to the frequency band i'm gonna keep 100 or more maybe 150 like this if you zoom and you must be finding why it is very thin the spectrum right so if you find this uh, the thickness option you can just increase the thickness from here i'm gonna keep it around uh, nine uh, maybe i think 10 is good right like okay let's keep it 10 and decrease the softness to zero okay we need a sharp spectrum right <laughs> and one more thing guys uh, we can see the audio spectrum is moving up and down like in the both the positions outside and inside so if we remove this line we can see clearly right then what what we can do is go to this uh, side option and under the side option we can just click on side b after we apply the side B, we can see it will be going outside only. So this looks good now. Okay. But we also see this cut. Why there is a cut? Let me just tell you. We just have to go to the mask. Under the mask, we can just click on mask expansion. Okay. We can increase it so that you don't find your cut as much you want. Now let's go back to the setting now. And I kept the start frequency around 10. Let's keep it around uh, 500 right let's keep it around 50 right 50 is fine yes okay all right so as we are done with this settings now we can also change the colors according to our choice we can just go uh, click change the color from here or you can just go and click here uh, we can just pick the colors like this like uh, in the scene in the purple and pink whatever it is but in this case uh, in this case i'm gonna use hue interpolation to get more exposure to the colors because in this way we can get a lot of colors in the scene right this is uh, this is just like a gradient we use right a lot of colors and i think this looks good and if we now just play our composition uh, from in the within the timeline let's see how it turns out nice so we have got a very cool spectrum now but we see this uh, circle going outside this um, uh, album cover art so we're gonna hide it by duplicating the layer again just press ctrl plus d on the keyboard and we can just simply and we can just simply mask it out with the rectangle right like this you can just follow along all right like this you just follow the steps we can just tweak every point of the mask like this all right so uh, there there must be some uh, there should be some shadow in the scene uh, here after the cover page so what we can do is we can just increase the feather within the mask like this we can just increase the feather like this and i think this is good so now let's play it and let's see our result how it turns out amazing amazing so let me know your thoughts on this and if you have further more queries just comment down i'll try to make the videos on it by the next friday till then stay safe be creative bye bye